First at 5.30 tonight, it looks like there will be no public ice skating in one local city this winter. The municipal skating rink in Woodsockets River Island Park is in need of repair, and city officials say because of that, they have no plans of opening the rink this season. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen spoke with the city's mayor today. He joins us now live from the newsroom with our top local story at 5.30. The mayor told me that the preventative maintenance to the ice skating rink has been so bad that the siding is just splintering off and is frankly unsafe. And because of that, skating at the very least is on hold. It's December and as the temperature drops, many communities enjoy it by strapping on skates and hitting the ice rink like here in downtown Providence. But this is when Sockets River Island Park ice skating rink. It's foolish to move forward with opening it. A slab of concrete and well, that's about it at River Island Park. We want to be certain that whatever we do, whatever we work with, that we are doing it properly and it's safe. And at this point, that ice rink is not safe. The rink has been open every winter for 15 years. This is what it looked like in 2002. But despite the Christmas lights on the snack bar ready to go, a new Department of Public Works director deemed this year's equipment unsafe. The siding and pipes need a lot of work. So for at least this year, skating is on hold. Multiple problems with the tubing, the compressor, um, the boards, and he had to make a decision. And that decision is that we cannot open that rink. It's not safe and safety comes from First. And the future of the rink is unknown. An expert needs to be called in to see what's salvageable. The hope is to have it open next winter. I am committed to moving forward to getting this ice rink back online. And the normal yearly budget set aside for this ice skating rink, the operating cost is about $50,000. So the fixes to it would be much more than that. So the mayor is hoping that she can secure a sponsor to help offset some of those costs. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.